Here's a little bit of background information about an exponential function that we're gonna be using y equals a b to the t. But essentially what you wanna know is you need to find a and b to be able to write the equation. A, just jumping right in, is the initial amount. In this particular one, we have a radioactive substance that has a mass of 750 milligrams to begin with. So that means the A is 750. We do need to find the B, but in order to find that, we need to know the rate of growth. So reading through this, it says that it is decaying, let's just emphasize that, decaying 9.7%. So that's my rate. But when we use the rate, we want it as a decimal and not as a percent. So to turn this into a decimal, let's uh, excuse me, divide by 100. And so I end up with 0.097. Okay, then you're going to end up, you're either gonna add this number to one or subtract it from one. It's pretty easy to remember which one you should do because the B value, if it's a decay, is going to be smaller than one. And if it's a growth, the B value is gonna be greater than one. So since this is a decay, that tells me that I want to subtract this number from one rather than adding it. That ends up giving me 0.903. Again, this number is smaller than one because it's a decay. I have my A and B, so I'm ready to build my equation. Let's replace the A with the 750 and the B with 0.903. I could use this equation later if I said, how much of this radioactive substance is left 10 years after 2003? Well, you could put 10 right here and do the calculation to find out how much, what the mass is of um, this radioactive substance. Okay, let's take a look at one more. This time we have some bacteria in a Petri dish and we begin with 2,000 bacteria. So that means our A value is 2,000. We need to find the rate to figure out the B. And it says that the cells are increasing by 13%. So the percentage is 13. Let's turn that into a decimal by dividing by 100. And I end up with 0.13. Now I just have to decide when I wanna find the B value, if the B value should be bigger than one or smaller than one. Since this particular one is a growth, this number should be bigger than one. So we wanna add the 0.13 to one. So I'm gonna take one plus 0.13, giving me 1.13. And this is my B value. Now that I have A and I have B, I'm ready to substitute those in. So replacing the A with 2000 and the B with 1.13, we have written our equation. If I did wanna use it, for example, I might say, how many bacteria are in the Petri dish in uh, say at time 17, 17 hours since, since the cells um, started off with 2,000. I could put 17 right here, make the calculation, and I would know how many bacteria are in the Petri dish after that many hours.